Hi, my name is Janet Vinosky Smith. I'm an online tutor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Slides to make game boards that you can use to play games online with your students. I have my Google Slides file open, and you can see I use it. I've created different games, and I just keep each game on a slide. So when I want to play with my students, I can just open them right up and play whichever game we want to play together. And just wanted to mention quickly, uh, all these games that I have, I've created a shared Google Slides file that you can have access to. There's information below this video on how to do that. I've written a book called Online Games for Tutors, and there's links in that book for shared files with some games that are already made. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. But right now, I'm going to show you how you can make your own game from scratch. So the first thing you would need to do is open your Google um, Slides, and you want to create a new slide. So select blank, and then Often the starting point for me if I'm going to do a game is to pick a shape that I might use to create a path for the game board. So I'm just picking hearts this time. And then I'll use the tools above to change the color. Create a border if you want. And decide on the thickness of your border. So I've created one shape which I want to be the basis for creating a path. So now I need to make a bunch of these. So while it's selected, I would hit hold down the control key and hit C to copy it. And then I would hold the control key down again and hit V to paste it. And I can paste and create as many parts as I want. And once I have them, I can just start creating a path. And of course, this is where you can have a lot of fun and play around with it. Maybe you even want to make a path in the shape of a heart, since you have hearts. And I'm just pulling them out to demonstrate how you would do that. Then other ways you can create your shapes for a path or add some interest to your board would be to import some kind of clip art. And you can also use the text tool to create text or writing on your board. But let me show you one way you could import some clip art. If you go up to insert an image and then search the web. I already had hearts selected. And then I went down and I thought this would make a really nice background for the game. So I'm selecting that and inserting it. And once it's inserted, because I want this as the background and I want people to be able to see the hearts on top of it, I have to rearrange it. So I go up to Arrange and Order and Send to Back. And then once it's done that, I don't know, I didn't have the right thing selected, so that didn't work. So now I had to select what I want to go to the back, which was this clip art, and now it's in the background. Okay, so then I'm resizing it, so now it makes a really neat background. And I can, again, pull around and rearrange my hearts to create whatever kind of path. I want and continue doing this. Add more pieces, have fun figuring out what you want to look like, import additional clip art. And then once you have your board created and you have what you want to use, it's important to save this as an image file because then it becomes one solid piece of art and when you and your student are playing, you're not going to accidentally be moving around these 
shapes or anything else that you would put on the game board. So the way you would do that is you go up to File and to Download, and then you want to go down to JPEG Image Current Slide because you only want to do this to this slide and that creates, it asks you to save it, so put it wherever you are going to be able to find it. It will also download it here. And then you just want to go and create another blank slide. And once that's created, you can simply drag what you've created up and it becomes a solid image. It basically becomes your game board that you can then use with your students and create other sh shapes to be the tokens or game pieces so that you can play a game. So here's an example of a finished one. I created the game board and saved it as an image file here. Then I made a few more pieces to serve as um, using the shape tool to serve as the pieces for the game and they can be dragged and moved on the board. And then I also created a text box so that if we're doing spelling practice, I can give my student words or sentences to type. And for each turn, they have to type the word and then roll the die and take their turn. So that's how they can play a game. So I hope this gives you lots of ideas for things you can do on your own to make your tutoring more fun and to create some fun practice activities for your students. And don't forget, if you'd like information on how to get some of these pre-made boards that I've done in a shared Google Drive file, just see that information below and you can do find out about that.